If your skin's been feeling a little more irritated than usual, maybe you have some red patches, red splotches, some areas might be peeling, and if you go to apply even a basic moisturizer, you get, you get a bit of a stinging sensation. Chances are you have a compromised skin barrier. Hi everyone, I'm Razia. If you are new here, please do subscribe for weekly uploads. I make skincare content. You can also follow me over on Instagram and TikTok for more. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about my experience that I had recently when I had a semi-destroyed skin barrier, what I did to fix it, and the different things you can do to make sure that you don't destroy your skin barrier in the future. <laughs> I'll also be telling you about the one product that really sped up my skin's healing process. I got my skin back to normal in no time at all, so make sure you don't miss out on that one. A Couple of weeks ago, I literally woke up and I had red patches all over my skin, the skin around my mouth had gotten really dry and was flaking. My eyelids were horrible, red, splotchy. I had like 10 new eye folds per eyelid. And I think in my case, there were a couple of things that brought this on. One, we had the dry weather. Secondly, I wasn't really overdoing it with the actives and I hadn't introduced anything new into my routine. I was keeping it nice and simple. Cleansing, you know, basic serums, azelaic acid and moisturizer. Nice and simple, nothing crazy. But one thing that I think really aggravated my skin is the cleanser that I was using. And, and I was using the Inculis Salicylic Acid Cleanser every single day. Now, looking back, that really wasn't the best idea. <laughs> this isn't something I would advise anyone to do, but it really isn't a harsh cleanser. But I think my dry skin combined with the dry weather, combined with using a cleanser with an active in it every single day might not have been the best combination. I wasn't really being careful about where I was placing the cleanser. So it might've gotten on my eyelids, it would've gotten around my mouth area and I wasn't really looking out for that. So the combination of all these different circumstances combined with my carelessness resulted in me waking up one day and my skin was angry at me. Very, very angry with me. <laughs> So now let me tell you what I did to fix it because I fixed it in a couple of days and we're doing amazing since. <laughs> when your skin is on the more irritated side and obviously your skin barrier is not the strongest it should be, there are a bunch of ingredients that you need to make sure you're not using in your skincare at all. You wanna make sure you don't have any actives in your routine at all, it doesn't matter how gentle they might be. So all your AHAs, your BHAs, azelaic acid, vitamin C, all of that stuff, you wanna make sure you're not using anything whatsoever. I was able to get rid of the irritation in my skin and really cut back on the redness in just a couple of days using this routine and I'm gonna talk you through that right now. You want to bring your routine right back down to the basics, which is cleansing, moisturizing, and using sunscreen. If you are going to be using any toners or serums, you wanna make sure they have no actives in them and they only contain hydrating and soothing ingredients. So this is how my morning routine was. I would use my Event Thermal Mist as to keep my skin nice and damp. Then I would go in with my Isentry Hyaluronic Acid Toner. This toner is great, nice and hydrating, plumping and very lightweight. And making sure you apply hyaluronic acid to damp skin ensures that you're drawing that moisture into the skin and keeping it locked in with a moisturizer on top. This is the moisturizer I was using. It's the Aveeno Dermexa Daily Emollient Cream. And that one contains ceramides and also a triple oat extract. What's great about Aveeno products is that they do contain collodial oatmeal and collodial oatmeal is known for its skin soothing benefits, which is amazing for a compromised skin barrier because that's what you want. You really helps to get rid of that redness and to get rid of that stinging sensation that you might be experiencing in your face. Any good simple moisturizer will do, something like the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. I know it's boring, but when it comes to fixing your skin barrier, boring is best. And sunscreen, of course, you wanna make sure your skin is nice and protected. Go for something fragrance-free with some skin soothing benefits in there as well. SunSense Natural Moisturizing Face contains niacinamide in there as well and is very nice nourishing and hydrating and non-irritating to the skin. So that's about it for the morning routine. You don't even have to go in with a hyaluronic acid toner like I did, that's just an extra step. Going in with just your moisturizer and sunscreen is more than enough. And now let's talk about what I would do for my night routine. If you are wearing makeup, you wanna make sure you get all of that makeup off in the most gentle way you can. The best way to do this is usually using an oil cleanser or a balm cleanser. The Ordinary Squalane Cleanser is amazing for this really gentle, melts everything right off, and it's a really hydrating cleanser as well. The Inculist Oat Cleansing Balm is another great one, and the Simple Cleansing Oil are all really great ways that you can easily get your makeup off without irritating your skin. If you're not wearing any makeup, you can skip that first oil cleanse. You can even use the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser as your only cleanser. It does have surfactants in there, and it's in a really hydrating base. 
and if your skin is really really sensitive this might be the best way for you to go to just go in with an oil cleanser and that's it if you do want to use something that is more water-based you want to keep it nice and simple the La Roche-Posay Derma Cleanser is perfect for this very nourishing very hydrating and won't aggravate your skin at all the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser is another great one for this and that's what I was using personally and the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser is another great option for this. Nothing foamy, nothing stripping, nothing gel textured that's gonna lather up. Those have more aggressive surfactants in there. And while they are good cleansers, they're not the best cleansers to be using when your skin is going through it. After cleansing, I would go in with a hydrating toner and some hydrating and soothing serums, and this is what I was using. Similar to my morning routine, I was using my hyaluronic acid toner from Isntree again. Hyaluronic acid is really great for promoting skin healing properties. That's why I like to include it. And the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid is great for this as well. And the Inculus Hyaluronic Acid Serum is another great option. Isn't Tree also have a green tea toner that would be great for this step as well. Green tea has great skin soothing and healing properties. So would definitely be a great addition to your routine. As for serums, I kept it nice and simple. I was using this as clear soothing gel. This one contains niacinamide and oat complex. Niacinamide, as I mentioned before, does have skin soothing properties and is a great vitamin that helps to strengthen your skin barrier. Same with the oat extract. Oat has skin soothing properties, so is a great addition to your routine. You don't have to use any serums when your skin is in this state, but if you do, make sure they're nice and nourishing. Another great serum, I haven't tried this one, but I do hear amazing things about it, is the Crave Beauty Great Barrier Relief. This serum is literally made for this purpose. It's made to help strengthen your skin barrier and heal it when you have compromised it. So that's something you could get. You can get that one from Stylevana if you want to try that one out. This final step of my nighttime skincare routine is really what sealed the deal for me. I think if I didn't include this step, my skin wouldn't have made such a quick turnaround. And that's the La Roche-Posay Cicoplast Soothing Repairing Balm. This Cicoplast Balm can be used as your only moisturizer at the end of your skincare routine, or you can use it to top off a moisturizer as well. It, you can also even use it as a spot treatment on top of your more irritated areas, whether that's just the eyes, or if you have some random patches of redness, you can just use it as a spot treatment and you'll get the same benefits. This balm was made with soothing irritated skin and healing your skin barrier in mind. It contains 5% panthenol to soothe dry irritated areas and it also contains metacasticide and copper zinc for skin barrier recovery. It's also made with shea butter which gives it that nice creamy texture and keeps that moisture locked in. La Roche-Posay also have a Cicoplast lip balm if you want something just for the lip area. But I was using this all over. I, I was using it on my eyelids and I was using it all over my mouth as well. And within two days, my irritation and redness had gone down significantly. I wasn't expecting such a quick turnaround in my skin healing. And this, this product really did it for me. Highly recommend if you're in a drier climate right now, maybe you're going through winter, if you're on the other side of the world and you're dealing with a lot of irritation and dryness right now, this product will really, really make a difference for you. I highly recommend it. It's really amazing. <laughs> Not to sell it too much, this clearly isn't sponsored, but I'm very happy with this product. I continued with this very simple skincare routine for about two weeks and only now I'm starting to reintroduce some actives back into my routine. And I'm keeping it very simple. I'm not gonna go crazy like I did last time because the weather's still very dry here and I just, I don't wanna go through that again. I've definitely learned my lesson and I really hope you guys can learn something from this as well. And, and that's about it for this one. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you do like and subscribe and don't go anywhere. Check out some of the other videos on my channel. I think you'll find something you might like and I'll see you in the next one.